I know you must be wondering how bath soaps are made in the companies. So this is a very small video to show you how soaps are being made in the factories using soap nodules. This is sodium palmitate gotten from palm oil and caustic soda is a soap base after making it um, the companies dry them out and then pack it in bag that is called soap nodules so these companies don't have that time to start mixing caustics and oil together they just buy the soap already made soap base so when they get this soap base is easier and reduces uh, work time for them this soap base are already hard and strong for those who are comparing their homemade soap with company soap that uh, company soap is very hard why is my own not hard companies make use of soap bases some of them are not producing from scratch like you who make at home so and these soap bases must have stayed for a very long time compared to you that just made your soap today and the next day somebody is calling me i made soap yesterday is not hard ah haba Anyway, sir, sure. um, the color is being added and all the other additives is added at this stage. When you see somebody write on their soap, it uh, contains collagen, contains vitamin C, contains uh, uh, kojic acid, contains this and uh, contains glycerin, all those stuff. All those things are added at this stage, not when the soap is being made with caustic soda. At this stage, those things are at their pure stage and then they will work well on your skin. That is why most of these soaps are very effective. You can see it's even a single soap oil. It's just sodium permeates. So after they have, you must have, they must have missed their color, their clays and all the additives they want to add according to their usage rates. They now go ahead to add it into this machine this machine is actually the kind of machine that makes soap nodules you can see it actually grating the soap mixing the soap and producing it in different soap sizes the the mouth that is being fixed to this machine can be changed so that the form of the soap that is coming out can be exchanged please bear in mind that i actually sought for permission for this video before using it to create this content and the owner of the video granted me the access to be able to recreate this video on my channel please youtube should note that this video's consent was sought for before it was being used to reshoot this content on my channel thank you So you can see the nozzles being changed because you need to actually compress these soap nozzles, mix them properly so that the colors can mix very well with all the soap granules. You don't want to finish mixing your soap and you'll be seeing white patches and orange colored patches. So they keep mixing, they keep mixing, they keep blending. It takes time, but at least it's not, man it's not manual, it is automated, it's the machine that does all this. Like I said, these soap nodules are already in their own hard form. They have been produced months and years before it's being used. So the final soap comes out very hard. And this soap nodules is already cured. So once these companies are done making their soap, they can sell out immediately that day and you can use the soap that day. This is not the same procedure compared to those who make their soap in the home and then allow their soap to cure so that it can harden. You can see the duration of time. The time, the, 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 the time frame is not the same. So you can see after grating the soap, it's now looking like long, long noodles or long, long spaghetti. So it is easier to mix and plow at this stage. So you now put it in your plowder machine if you have. This plowder machine helps to shape in the soap. It brings it out to a favorable design you want. Let's say for instance you are making laundry bars and you want them big, bold with grooves. It's at this stage you, you, you use the machine that will give you those shapes that you want. But for this company, they want theirs to be in cylindrical form because the hydro, hydraulic machine they are using to press their, their soap shapes needs the soap to be in this cylindrical form. So after cutting it in these small, small cylinders, they now proceed into shaping it. This is called hydraulic press. The, the, 
the soap mold inside there is actually designed to give the soap the shape it will have and then it can also print in designs printing logos and printing anything you want it is being crafted to suit a particular company just like lux has their own and when they print you see their bar soap you see lux written on it or other any other name written on it so this is called the hydraulic press it gives you the shape you want can you see how swift and easy it is for this company to make this soap without going through the process of soaking light solution mixing light solution inhaling caustic soda buying so much so much trucks of oil just to be able to make soap going through a lot of headache just to be able to produce soap you can see how swift and easy it is for them and then there is no waste in soap making all the cutouts is being turned back into the recycling procedure and then after which they go ahead to attach the soap into their packaging uh, materials and then it is being packaged for you to use this company has a very beautiful way of making their soap their division of level is actually very beautiful so starting from the making to the finish everybody has their own job and it makes the work faster before you know they have made tons and tons and tons of baking soap with this procedure they can be able to produce different types of soap uh, colors and fragrance and this is why company made soap smell smells better than homemade soap and their fragrance tends to last longer because right now adding your fragrance in this soap making using this particular method of using soap noodles will make your fragrance to last longer because number one you are not using caustic soda so the heat of caustic soda would not depreciate your fragrance that is why all this kind of packet soap you buy in the beauty soap you buy in the supermarket smells amazing because of the way it is being made and they are always very hard and strong and foam very well and you hardly see complaints of itching skin peeling hands or otherwise Thank you for watching this video.